Right, exactly. So um, from the very beginning of my involvement with the Free Britney movement, I was very disturbed that Miss Spears was deprived a zealous advocate of her own choice. So to me, this is a significant step because it restores justice to the process. It restores integrity to our court system. What many people don't understand is that the whole premise of the legal system is supposed to be this concept of due process. Before the government acts to take away your liberty or property, you're supposed to have the right to confront the witnesses that want to challenge your liberty and, and right to manage your own property. And Miss Spears was deprived of that. And that was such a travesty, such an injustice that today is very significant because what Judge Penny said is, I respect the Constitution. So it's a good day. Oh, what powerful words. I love that. And so what do we know right now? It looks like she's been allowed to have her um, appoint her, choose her own attorney. Um, is there anything else we know as of this moment? Um, I'm, I'm not aware of any other developments in the case um, right this moment. They have a lot to talk about. Some of the things that I, I expect to, that we will hear is that Bessemer Trust, who never actually officially started as co-conservator, they are going to resign um, where their, their re resignation will be accepted. I think it was a formality. Nobody should make you notwithstanding what happened to Ms. Spears, nobody makes you do work or take on tasks that you don't want to. So Bessemer Trust resigns. And um, the other thing I think the judge is considering is whether or not she should have uh, allow some compensation to Jody for the security. Um, even though there was really no evidence that I could see that there were actual threats. I mean, who in the world, and you're practicing law when you're practicing in this area. I mean, people tell me they're gonna kill me all the time. You know, it's just, it's an expression. I don't take it seriously. But you know, when people have, there is, uh, I've had stalkers, I get law enforcement involved. And so Jody should definitely take that step. And then if that doesn't resolve it, then of course she should have security. She's a private person. She's not a celebrity. She should not have to worry about her physical safety. So I think that's going to be granted as well. Um, as far as all of these fees and so forth, if I was uh, Judge Penny, I would say, let's put that off for 60 days. Let's get the new attorney up to speed, get him copies of the files, let him review it. That would be the fair thing. Um, having him uh, make opinions or even attempt to argue about these fees right now would be also very unfair. I don't think that's what Judge Penny's going to do. Interesting. And so one of my questions for you is about the attorney. Um, I have his name written down here, but of course I lost it. But it sounds like she has the attorney selected that she wants to uh, wants to represent her. Do you have any thoughts about that? And also kind of going off of that, I know something that's in a question in the air is if she's going to still have to get a, um, a evaluation done if um, they do file a petition to terminate. Can you kind of talk about all of all of those many different things in one question. Exactly. Well, um, the firm that was selected where Mr. Rosengarp comes from, uh, Greenberg Trawick, is a huge international firm. And I said it on Twitter, I'll say it again. He didn't come to play, he came to slay. Um, a very serious, good attorney. I'm so supportive. I'm so happy for Brittany that she was able to finally get someone that will have a duty of loyalty only to her. So now what happens? Well, you know, I've done the analysis, I've reviewed the documentation, probably like no one else in the world. I would like to see that firm go to the Court of Appeals with what is called a writ or writ of habeas corpus. And what the writ says is that notwithstanding whether or not Ms. Spears had any uh, emotional or psychological trauma, the, the process of establishing this conservatorship was so fundamentally flawed, 
unfair, I mean, really um, terrible, and that Jamie Spears was immediately granted back in February 2008 the right to prevent Brittany from even meeting with other lawyers. I mean, that is such an extreme variance from the entire legal system, our notion of due process and fairness. I think there's a, there's a chance that the Court of Appeals would agree that the process was so flawed that they should immediately set aside the orders appointing conservators. If that's not successful, then they will do a petition for termination and it should be pretty straightforward. Ms. Spears has demonstrated clearly that she can provide for her own needs for food, clothing and shelter, and she can resist fraud and undue influence. And also importantly, that the conservatorship is not and never has been the least restrictive, um, least restrictive means of aiding her to the extent that she needs assistance. For all of these reasons, I'm very optimistic now that Brittany will be free and it's just a matter of how soon. Wow, so exciting and such strong words from you. I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that. And um, you know, obviously you've been in this field, you're an expert in it, I've been covering it, but I think a lot of people don't really understand why, you know, she wasn't able to choose her own lawyer from the start. And, you know, I'm just thinking about all of the people I've talked with and a lot of them have had, all of them have had court appointed counsel. They haven't been able to choose. Can you just talk about that process and how that works and why that's, you know, part of it and why this is such a momentous step and even like changing the system? Right, well, what many people don't realize and strangely enough, not even some of the judges is that the use of court appointed counsel was meant as a backup. It was never meant to be the go to move by the judicial officers, meaning that the moment that Britney Spears uh, showed up with or had an attorney represent her, that should have been the end of the discussion. We would never, there are no laws and never have been any laws that would allow a judge to fire an attorney of the conservatives choice and replace them with a court appointed attorney. So the question is why? And the reason that I believe these things are happening is that the judges themselves are very befuddled by these issues of fraud, undue influence, capacity. What does it mean? And if there is one thing that we absolutely should demand of our elective representatives right now, we need to talk about what what are the real standards here for incapacity and what is a competent investigation? Why are the judges relying on people that they see in the courtroom over and over again and not resorting to the rule of law? And honestly, I don't see nefarious behavior. What I see is a group of people that are struggling under very bad circumstances without the tools to do the job that they need to do. And I can't express it any more kindly towards the judicial officers. I have a lot of empathy for what they're trying to do, that there's just too many facts, too many cases, and not enough guidance by the uh, rep our legal representatives. Great answer. And my next question for you, I saw even, I think it was your tweet or your comment on the uh, the Free Britney LA uh, live feed. I was watching it too. And you're like, even the politicians are showing up. We saw like Matt Gates. We saw a council member there. Um, it feels like you think this is a really pivotal turning point for the Free Britney movement. But do you feel like this is also a turning point for legislation and for changing the system? And if you do think that, can you kind of just talk about why why you do believe that? 